You gave me great support. We won the election, but what are you going to do? We are fighting like hell, and we're going to keep fighting, and you see what happens. Because elections do have consequences. Nobody ever thought a thing like this would be possible. He has to make it about himself. Uh, this brings us to uh, my favorite pairing uh, each Sunday, uh, John Avalon and Margaret Hoover. They're back. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, it, it's uh, You guys are like Oprah. You take the summer off or something like that. Is that what it is? <laughs> I'm joking. The first time I know you guys are busy with <laughs> You guys are doing other things, I know. You're too busy for us. No, but it's great to have you back. Um, what did you guys make of uh, Donald Trump there at the firehouse uh, yesterday? I didn't want to talk about him on 9-11, but of course we can talk about him now, especially in light of this new CNN polling. It was sort of like uh, the arsonist in chief going to the firehouse, John. Yeah. Well, he's always been the arsonist who pretends to be a firefighter, but I think you hit the nail on the head in your, your commentary, which he has to make it about himself. You know, one thing that 9-11, I think, absolutely means still to this day, particularly in a New York City firehouse, is it's not about you. It's about the firefighters. It's about the first responders. It's about those folks who showed us the definition of courage by sacrificing their own lives to help strangers, which is a definition of heroism. The definition of being a villain is putting yourself first always. And, and right. we just saw Donald Trump's character, or lack thereof, shine through yet again, not standing with the other presidents who were went to all the memorials, just you know doing color commentary on, on, a, on a boxing match. And, and going to a dropping by a firehouse where he could keep all the attention on himself. It's disrespectful to the dead. 